stores and we'll start seated. So go ahead and place the bolster. Sukhasana, so say Sukha, S-U-K, S-U-K-K-U-A-H-A, really. Uh, Sukha means easy, Sukhasana means easy what? Pose, asana, pose. So easy pose is crisscross applesauce, right? So uh, right in front of the ankle, shin space. On the bolster, you can lift up. So I always think of my body like a go-go gadget, like like there's this like elevation, right? So for a moment, relax your spinal cord, for lack of a better word, slouch forward. And then sound effects are optional, but right? Oh, that was adorable. I loved it. It's helpful for me because that's what I feel. And really what that is, is the tonality of your solar plexus. So relax one more time. Take both of your hands uh, atop the rib cage, sternum area, and then underneath. And then as if you are about to like have Thanksgiving dinner again, like mm, go, mm, go for it. Mm, great. Now elevate up. Okay. And you feel that little location of the body expand. Yes. Okay, one more time, relax hands down on the knees, soften and, and, and settle. Yeah, soften the eyes for a moment, relax the hands if you'd like. Today's entire class is this quadrant of the body, okay? So, also known as the core, but that word can be a little scary. So instead, solar plexus will elevate up on a count of three, two, elevate up. Oh my gosh, that's so cool to see you all do that at one time. Now, with the eyes soft, just physically feel the dissonance and the diligence required to hold your spinal cord up in this way. Today we enter one of the last few of the niyamas. If you've been with me at all over the past two months, I've been talking about the yamas and the niyamas, which are physical and mental observances and practices. For lack of a better word, philosophy, rather than physical asana, which is just a small tip of the iceberg of yoga, the yamas and the niyamas really are this huge availability of thought process while on and off the mat. Today, tapas, T-A-P-A-S, say tapas. Yeah, sounds delicious, doesn't it? Mmm, kind of appropriately in the solar plexus or the abdomen, the same space we just Thanksgiving rubbed our abdominals. Slouch your spinal cord for a moment, settle into the pelvis, sit into the floor. Good, count of three, we lift up, one, two, three. Solar plexus expanded. Color is yellow. When we talk about the word tapas, literal translation is discipline. As someone who is strongly disciplined as a child, I do not like that word. <laughs> it feels regimented, it feels militant. So I like to use the word action, right? Tapas is action. So sukhasana, slouch your spine. So this is a seat. Oh my gosh, it's Wednesday. Cool. I'm sitting on a bolster. I'm going to do some yoga. Awesome. My body is there. It's available. I'm in a seat. Okay. I'm in a seat. But yet when I engage my solar plexus, one, two, three, there's tapas right there. Does that make sense? So the discipline or the action of engagement of your core center and every pose gives you a hyper laser-like focus on what it is that you are performing, the pose that you are producing on the mat. And then you're able to put the full force of your mental space behind the action that you desire. Shiva, the sound of the sun. Shiva Shambo, you sing. Shiva Shambo, a little louder. Shiva Shambo, two more, we go. Shiva Shambo, a little louder, open mouth and nice and wide. Shiva Shambo. Hands to the abdomen, little Thanksgiving circle. Mm. Yeah, inhale through the nose. And then on the exhale, push into the hands. Shiva Shambo, go ahead. Shiva Shambo. 
one more. We go Shiva Shambo. Last time, a little bigger. Shiva Shambo. Arms up like mountain pose, Tadasana. Slouch into your little Sukhasana for just a moment. Count of three. One, two, three. Solar plexus, the action, the tapas of this pose. Here for ten. Nine, wiggle the fingers. Six, four, two, one. Hands on the knees. Now, believe it or not, we will be here for one more minute. For tapas, most eloquently relates to seated meditation. To sit still for longer than a few minutes as modern day humans, not really that accessible, wouldn't you say? The amount of distractions that we feel, the amount of discomfort that we feel, and ultimately the egoic desire of something better than this. The ego resides where? In the solar plexus. And the practice of tapas is like taking a whip to a lion. That taming sensation of calming a wild roar into your fiery solar control. 30 more seconds. Just feel the edge of the seat. Notice how many thoughts crave leaving this place. Inhale, lift your solar. Audible sigh, say hi. One more of those, lift your solar. I love that cue. Exhale, say. Yeah, that's it. That's really all I have to teach today. So have a great day. Thank you so much for coming. Uh,